Hey guys, Flash Holly Gerbex here with another workbench review. I got a new flashlight from Sofian. Thanks, Adelina, for the sample. It's the Sofian SF47T thrower. So, this is one of the first real throwers that Sofian produces. So, as we know it, standard cardboard boxing, nothing special here. So we have the manual here in different languages. I'm going to have a closer look at it later on. We have a two bay charger for 21700 batteries and other lithium ion batteries that will fit inside. They don't give any information. Ah, here they have. So uh, as you can see, it's suitable for all these batteries that have been written down here with micro USB. Don't know why they don't deliver it with USB C. Then we got a lanyard as well as two spare O rings. And then the SF47T itself. I really like the design. It's a nice thrower. You get really nice run times with two 21700 batteries. The anodizing is very nice. There are no sharp edges. All the engravings are properly done. I like the knurling. You get a good grip. You have a tail clicky at the end to turn the light on and the electronic side button to cycle through the different modes. As you can see, it's a really smooth, deep reflector to generate a nice amount of throw. As always, first unscrew the tail cap. Take the battery protection out. You can see standard Sofian 21700 batteries with 5000 milliamps. I never had a problem with the Sofian batteries, really like them, they are a good deal. You can also unscrew the battery tube, as you can see we have springs in the tail cap as well as in the head, so uh, you can also use button top and flat top batteries, here yeah, they are flat top, but I'm always happy if they allow to use the batteries that you want so batteries are charged not going into any details of the charger here the threads run really smoothly so it's the quality standard that we know from sofia so there's really nothing to complain about here so you switch it on by a single click and then different clicks to get through the different modes. As you can see, there's a status LED in the side switch. I'm going to explain this later on. Double click for turbo. So I'd say let's have a closer look at the technical specifications of the SF47T. So here's the manual. I wrote the LED emitter type on because it's an uh, impossible name. They don't provide any uh, specification in the manual they just indicate powerful LED but it's uh, a KWCULPM1 dot TG from Osram so uh, it's not a very common LED type um, but yeah so as you can see the moon mode they indicate with one lumen so that's always a big plus and the turbo with 1500 lumen as for the runtime, 41 days on the lowest mode, 3 hours and 21 minutes on the turbo mode. Beam distance is a maximum of 1100 meters and the peak intensity is 303,750 candela. Impact resistant to drops of a height from about 1 meter and water resistance according to the standard of IPX8. So operating voltage from 6 to 
to 8.4 volts so you cannot operate it with four uh, smaller batteries so always use either two 21700 or 18650 batteries the dimensions 247.5 millimeters of length and 55 millimeters of head diameter the battery tube diameter they don't indicate but uh, it's 28 millimeters the weight is 350 grams without the batteries toughened mineral glass lens or the water resistance we have already seen it has mode memory in the outer group so there are different mode groups i will show you those later reverse po polarity protection low voltage warning in the side switch low voltage protection so it turns off as soon as the voltage gets too low and then an advanced temperature regulation so uh, it will step down if the temperature is too high and as soon as the temperature is uh, down again it will start increasing so that's uh, always cool so that's about it uh, for the technical specifications. I'd say we have a closer look at the user interface and the different group modes. So as for the power indicator, it turns on the five first seconds uh, as soon as you uh, push the tail clicky and then you have the indicator green. So if the voltage is between 85 to 100 percent if it's uh, flashing green the power is between 50 and 85 percent if it's red it's between 25 and 50 percent and as soon as it starts flashing red the power is critical and you should start thinking about changing the batteries so for the outdoor group uh, mode in which it is set by default uh, the operations is as I showed you hold and press to cycle through the different modes double click for turbo if you turn it off it will not memorize the turbo mode but however it will memorize other modes you have the possibility for momentary light so that's always a good feature to have you can also activate the turbo by short double click on the tail click for the momentary turbo so that's also a cool feature if you want to activate the stroboscope you need a triple click and then another double click to cycle through SOS beacon and strobe single click to return to the normal modes if you want to activate the moon mode you need to press the side switch and the tail clicky and then you are in the one lumen moon mode after that you can normally switch through the different output modes so that's everything for the normal outdoor mode now we are going to switch to the tactical group mode so therefore when the light is on you need to hold the button down for three seconds and then it will blink and turn on in the highest mode to reverse i will do it again three seconds it will blink and it will turn on in the lowest mode so you know low mode is outdoor group and the high mode is tactical group so now we are in the tactical group Double tap gets us to instant strobe. The side switch only delivers slow and turbo now, so you have faster access to the turbo mode. So that's always handy if you're in a tactical position or if you are working security or whatever. It's always good to have a fast access to turbo mode. And then double click for the strobe as I showed you, another double click to cycle through the different uh, special modes, single click gets you back. 
And then here you have the same possibility to access the moon mode, so that's uh, pretty nice. So now we are going to have a closer look at the outputs in my Ulbricht ball. So here we have the one lumen mode. If I turn off my video lights, you can see it goes down to 0 0.66, so it's accurate. They indicate it was one lumen. So now we are going to have a look at the other modes. We have the low mode, which is indicated with 50 lumen. I measure 40. Medium with 300, I measure 250. High mode with 700 lumen, I measure nearly 600. And then the turbo with 1500 lumen, I measure 1150. That's not what I hoped. Normally, Sofin respects the indicated output, but uh, I also tried with other batteries, not from Sofian, and uh, I get the same result. You always need to uh, take notice that the Ulbricht ball is a self-made one, and uh, the measurements are not quite not 100% exact, but uh, they indicate, however, uh, a pretty good. Uh, value. So let's head out and have a little comparison of different throwers with the SF47T. So guys, we're outside here. I'm going to show you what the Sofian SF47T performs in the dark. As you can see, it's a really nice spot. So you get a nice beam distance nothing for photography it's really if you want to see what's hiding in the long distance so double click for turbo I'm going to switch through the different output modes that you can see so the low mode is quite low for thrower you don't need a moon mode so uh, that's okay and the turbo, as you can see, is really powerful. I'm going to compare it now to other throwers I have. We have K1. As you can see, the spot is even a bit more concentrated. I'm going to show you now the two lights together. So the sofa has a more user-friendly beam because it still has enough spill to really use it while walking in the in the dark however the K1 is more of a full thrower so you don't really cannot use it for anything else than produce immense throw you can do a laser show with the two for the next comparison I have the Sofian SP70, which is one of my favorite lights from Sofian, as you can see, produces a much wider beam, not the same beam distance, but also really nice. I'm going to show you the two combined, so you can see the lightsaber on the left, and the SP70 now on the left. So overall, the SF-47T is a really nice addition to the range of Sofian. They need to have a nice thrower in their range, so uh, I'm happy that I purchased it. So let's head inside for the conclusion, guys. So let's come to the pros and cons of this flashlight. Pros first, I really like the light, I like the design, I like the quality, Sofin did an outstanding job again. I really like that you have the possibility of uh, tail cap lockout, so you prevent uh, melting your stuff in your backpack while it turns on by itself. If you need a thrower with a lot of runtime, like for example hunters or people that work in a security company, uh, this is perfect because you have an enormous runtime with the two 21700 batteries. Personally, I prefer shorter throwers with a bigger head for more beam distance. 
uh, they are easier to carry around and I just don't need that much battery life. But as, again, as I said, for a security guy, it's perfect because it's big. You can make some noise if there are some invaders and you have a decent runtime, as I said. Cool also that you have uh, the possibility to change between the two group modes. So I think uh, everybody should find his exact or perfect uh, match with this flashlight. I like the low moon mode as well as the uh, battery indicator. What I don't like that much is um, that they don't provide it in neutral white LED. But on the other side, for throwers, um, it's not that important because I go for maximum beam distance and uh, not the light color. Another thing that I'm missing here, a flashlight this size should have a holster so that you can put it on a belt while walking. It's just too big to fit in a standard pocket. So here Sofian could uh, start thinking about delivering holsters with the bigger lights. I already informed Adelina and I really hope that they uh, take notice of it. Another thing I'm a bit disappointed is that they don't respect the indicated lumens so they could uh, deliver a bit more power to the LED so that the 1500 lumens that they indicate really get reached. But for the rest, as always, I'm really happy with the Sofian light quality so uh, I hope you guys liked the re review. I will put all the technical specifications in the comment section. And if however there are still some questions left, make sure to uh, put it in the comment section and I will do my best to answer it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I would be really happy if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my Instagram channel. See you soon guys. Bye bye.